In this video, I'm going to try and uh, show a technique for having a sprite that, uh, sorry, an item that can't be picked up unless something else is true. This is something that one of my students is trying to do, and it turns out it's kind of more tricky than you would think. So let's give it a try a couple different ways and see what works and what doesn't. The first thing is I've created a teapot item. I've also created a pot holder item. So um, what I would like is for you would have to pick up the pot holder before you can pick up the teapot. So for the teapot item, uh, I will add a more complex dialog than just a teapot. Let's see what it looks like here. I'm going to click on this and just delete and start again. And what I need is a branching list. I showed this in another video. So what I want is for if there's a teapot, sorry, a pot holder in inventory, at least one maybe, then I can say you picked up the teapot. Otherwise, say too hot and uh, make it shaky. So let's see how this works. Um, I can try picking it up and it says too hot, but it did disappear anyway. Let's try it the other way. If I pick up the pot holder first, it says you picked it up. So the problem here is that no matter what, uh, the branching list, however the branching list unfolds, it still disappears. I could not find a way in here in the dialog to say that it doesn't disappear. So how can we keep an item there when you bump into it, you know, if depending on whether you picked it up or not? It doesn't seem to be a way to do that. So uh, let's try and figure out a different way. I'm going to remove that item and instead I'm going to make a sprite and I'll call this again teapot and I will try and redraw that quickly. And I think that was it. So there's the teapot and for this I'm going to do that same kind of dialogue. I want to say you um, have a branching list and if the pot holder is in inventory then say you picked up the teapot and otherwise say too hot see how this works so um, if I try and pick it up it says too hot if I pick up the teapot uh, the pot holder first and try it it says you picked it up now there are a couple things here one is that uh, stop the game and one is that uh, it didn't disappear when I picked it up so, um, and the other is that there's no way of tracking whether I picked it up or not because it's not an item anymore. Uh, so there is a teapot here, but that's from when I had an item that was a teapot. Let me delete that just to avoid confusion. You can see there's no item called teapots here. So what I'll have to do instead is use a variable and just keep track of it myself. So I'll call it teapots with an S and start it at zero. So here in uh, the teapot sprite, uh, I have my dialog here that just says I picked it up or I didn't, but um, what I really want is to say if you picked it up, I should add another part of this branch that is a variable action and say I can increase the uh, variable teapots by one. So teapots equals teapots plus one. Let's just try this real quick. So uh, I am not able to get it. If, it's, if I don't have the pot holder, if I do have the pot holder and try it again, it says I picked it up. And if you look, teapots has become one over here. And I could use that later in some other branching list uh, to see if I can move on to the next step and so on and so forth. So I'm going to hit stop. And the last detail is, you know, when I bump into it, now I have the opposite problem. It doesn't disappear when I've picked it up. So I think one last thing that I can do to try and fix that is to say, uh, here in the branching list, um, what I actually wanted to do is if you pick it up, say that you picked it up, add one to the teapot, uh, teapot's variable, and go to another room that looks just like this one but doesn't have a teapot. So let's do that. I'm going to duplicate this room, and I'm going to call it room without teapot. And uh, over here in the branching list, I'm going to add one more item and it's going to be an exit. Exit to room without teapot at, well, I don't know what the location was, but let me um, click over here and choose the location. Actually, I think it was this. Let me, whoops, hold on, move. I think that's where the teapot was in the other room. And this should work, let's see. 
So, oh, okay, let's stop. <laughs> I need to make sure in that original room that I do have the teapot there. And let's try playing again. So um, here I've picked up the pot holder item and I can see it in my inventory now. Now back over here, I can pick up the teapot, which I see here. And you can see I've switched to the other room, which does not have, it doesn't say it up here, but I've switched to a new room here, which um, doesn't have the teapot. So if I wanna make that clearer, I can go over here to uh, the room without the teapot. And let me just add a new color palette and choose that one for this second room. Let's play this game one more time so you can see how that works. So if I try and pick it up, it says it's too hot. If I get to this um, item, the pot holder, and then do it, it the uh, now we've got a uh, sprite that says I picked it up, adds one to my teapot's variable, and sends me to a new room. So I've changed the color palette just so you can see the difference here, but it's essentially, uh, if I left it at blueprint, then you'd end up having the same room just without a pot holder, uh, teapot. Now it also doesn't have a pot holder, but that's not a problem because you had to use that to get this uh, teapot to, to disappear. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I feel like one of the nice things about Bitsy is that it requires some ingenuity. You can't just throw up your hands and say, oh no, there's not a way for an item to disappear. There's some other way to do it, right? It just requires some uh, creative problem solving. And the fact that this is such a minimal system means that there's probably some way to get around it uh, using some alternative before even resorting to um, Bitsy hacks, right? So I didn't use any hacks here. I just used the tools that were given with plain Bitsy and figured out a way to get there. So good luck.